Andrew. Welcome. Hey, Chaos. Just finished the part three VOD. Nice. There will be a quiz. I can't remember what the, the quiz was in part three. <laughs> now that I think about it. Okay, so looks like I got everything squared away. Alrighty. Hey, Corey. Hey, Stacolin. Hello, Matt. All right. So, hey, I, I did this thing. So now now there should be no no confusion as to what we doing tonight. Doing part four of Hotel Desk and part five of uh, Vanguard Bandits. <laughs> I still have to remember the names of everything. Um, sure. Hey, Hidden. All right. So let's see, I had a fairly productive day. So I got some uh, some new IEMs in. Um, these are KZ ZS10 Pro IEMs. Uh, I got rid of the other ones. Uh, that, well, I, I should say, I, I didn't really get rid of the other ones. So I, I still have the old ones, so I just wanted to replace them. So these are the ones that I've been using for recent streams and these are these like solid aluminum they're made by the same company uh and they're they're really heavy so they when they rest in your ear they actually pull down on it so it digs in upwards on the the top of your ear canal so <laughs> that's why for a lot of streams you'd see me go like this all the time because i was trying to readjust them to get them to to not dig into my ears as the stream went on and then uh earlier than that i originally bought this pair so this pair is also by KZ. This is a ZSR, um, which you can't see because they're green. But like here, there, sure. Uh, these ones don't dig into my ear canal, but they have this dumb protrusion. Uh, like it, it makes a C shape, like, like this. Like this, this is how the, the, the IEM is shaped. Um, whereas the, the current one that I, I have is like, it's like this. <laughs> so you can see that one, that one fits a lot better in the ear. Um, this one that I got, and this one also has an extra set of drivers in it. So it uh, in theory should sound better. And I guess it sounds a little bit better. Yeah, there's only so much you can really do with, um, such a small space, but, uh, I think it sounds good, and they're they're like super cheap. Like the the cheapest one was I think fifteen dollars, and then this this is fifty, and then there was well actually you can get these for like thirty five if you order from their Chinese shop, but I wanted them from Amazon, um, so it was it was a pretty big markup. But hey, I'm not gonna wait two months for some some headphones to come in. Uh, uh, so yeah, I'm, I'm happy with my purchase of these. And then today I also repaired the, uh, my old headset. You might recall, I used to wear this thing for streams. Uh, there's some nostalgia for you. Uh, I used to wear this and I accidentally ran over the, uh, the connector on this cable. So I, I accidentally wrecked the cable on this headphones. So I finally got around to buying a new... Uh, connector for this and soldered all the wires together for that and that was that was a huge pain in the ass because these things are not meant to be repaired they want you to break these and then buy another set but I'm not gonna do that <laughs> so I spent uh, spent the afternoon fixing those and now I have a working a working headset again very exciting um, so yeah it uh, it seems that I've I've done most of the electronics projects that I want to do now so kind of the next thing is getting a bunch of capacitors and redoing um replacing the capacitors in uh, some stuff so like my my windows 98 machine the sound card i want to replace all the capacitors in that and maybe re replace a chip or two like the op amp uh to get some better sound out of that uh, my mt32 synthesizer i want to replace the caps in that uh because one there's um there's a little bit of noise that comes through the uh the outputs in that that i'm not a fan of and I have a feeling that's because of just the caps are getting old. So I'm, I'm hoping if I replace some caps, it'll uh, 
it'll all work out here. Man, it is it is really hot in here today. I don't know why, because it's it's not hot outside, but god damn, it is it is toasty in here today, so time to time to start taking clothes off, I guess. We can do that on YouTube. <laughs> okay. Alright, so uh let's see, did I ever I'm trying to think if there's there's anything else I worked on that I want to mention. Uh oh I figured out VR. VR streaming. So hold up. I figured it out. So I I took a look at the Half-Life Alex stuff again. And that um That game looks great, so I think I want to play that. So I have I have the base station up there set up, and the other one is precariously perched on top of this monitor here. <laughs> So, so I don't, uh, um, I, I'm probably just going to have to get another cheap, cheap stand for that. So I don't have to keep putting it on top of my monitor. Uh, let's turn this. That track is pretty loud for some reason. Uh, so yeah, I, I probably need a better place to mount that thing. And then I got my headset down there. So I, I figured out a way to, um, to stream VR games and also have chat on screen or not on screen but like I can see chat because there's a uh, there's an open source program that embeds anything that you window capture with the program on a PC it'll it'll embed it in the virtual reality world for you um, and uh, it's pretty neat. Like you can you can put it off to the corner of your vision. You can physically you can attach them to the controllers, so you can actually put the chat window underneath the controller, and then to look at chat, you just go like this, turn the controller around. I'm not sure if I want to do that when I'm playing Half Life because that that might be like bound to an action or something. Um, so I'm I'm still not sure how I'm going to handle that. And then I am I am 50 50 on whether or not I want to buy the. Uh, the the Vive, or no, the the Valve Index controllers, the kind that you you put your hand into, and then it just kind of they're called the Knuckles controllers. They actually fit over your knuckles of your hand, so you can you can actually hold them like this. You can have it like that, and it does finger tracking, and then it's got thumbsticks for the for the thumbs. Um, I would have been like hundred percent a purchase on those if they were two hundred dollars. They're not two hundred dollars. They are three hundred dollars, <laughs> and that that seems like a whole lot for for something as specialized as that. Like I, I don't know. I'm I'm having trouble convincing myself that those are going to be worth it, especially since only like two things support it. Um, so I don't know. I don't. Know. But at, at the very least, I'll be able to play some like Half Life Alex with the current VR setup that I have with the Vive controllers, which are just like two remote things that you you just hold. Um, and apparently it's not that big of a gameplay difference between, uh, the different control setups, so. So, we'll see. I don't know. Still undecided. Okay. So, uh, let's get started. Tonight's lineup is Hotel Dust Part 4. Uh, Vanguard Bandits Part 5. I'm gonna start off with Hotel Dust from 215. So, we're on Part 4 with this banger. Uh, seven hours in. Apparently there are ten chapters in the game. And we are just starting i believe chapter four um according according to that so we still got a fair ways to go in this one um and also if i'm going to be doing half-life alex which is out in uh it looks like two and a half weeks or so i'm probably going to want to play through the half-life series again uh and, and for some of them for the first time ever uh, before that game comes out, so we're either gonna have to put Hotel Desk and or Steel Battalion on hold until I do those, because uh, that that would just be too much on my plate. But I'm I'm pretty sure most of the Half Life games are gonna be single sitting games anyways, because I'm not gonna play them on like super difficult mode or anything. Um, but it is something that may may happen. So that uh, that is planned for that. Okay, let's uh, let's get going. With the old hotel desk. All right. Yep, 
Yeah, Half-Life is pretty good. They are pretty good games. Definitely give those a go if you haven't uh, haven't played them before. They are ranked as some of the best uh, PC games ever made for a good reason. Okay. All right, hotel desk. So where we last left off, we... Uh... So we we talked to to Karen, uh, I guess Karen's her name, um, up on the roof. I forgot what her deal was, but she seemed mad at us, just like everybody else in this game, <laughs> except Rosa. Rosa loves us. Maybe it's time to look into this angel painting. Angel painting, huh? Might help to find out about that Oster Zone fellow, too. Oh, okay. So, yeah, uh, the angel painting was from the bookmark for the writer guy who I thought was a creepy cult guy and might still be. Um, let me start the timer, too. I'm at it here. Um,. And then Oster, Oster Zone is the guy who painted the angel painting. Uh, I'm not sure why that's relevant. Because uh, it <laughs> this whole part just, just seems like main character digging into somebody else's business for no good reason. Because um, we're, we're here ostensibly to be a traveling salesman and to solve the mystery of our uh, our old police partner. But why this this weird writer guy needs to be involved, I'm not entirely sure. Man, there's some there's some crunchy compression going on in these uh, these textures up here. This is kind of what happens when um, when textures get really dark for uh, for mobile games. They uh, they tend to look like this. <laughs> and uh, oh man, that's um that's a rough texture. All right. So I don't, I don't really know the first place to even start researching this angel painting thing, but I suppose the plot will happen. We'll stumble onto plot. Yep, I'm sure Rachel, Rachel probably knows. Okay, so there's anything interesting over there? Yeah, so it looks like there's nothing, nothing really of note up on the roof. There's just gonna be people to talk to, I guess. But not a big deal there. Alright. Yeah, that's true. We are investigating an art theft ring. So that is possible. And it might be related. But, but I don't know. Show. All right. Rachel just lives in the office, I guess. And I'm assuming she's on the East Coast, so I, uh, and I'm pretty sure Hotel Dusk is is in like the Midwest or the West. She's gonna investigate for us then. Yep, Angel opening a door. I love his facial expression where he's on the phone. 
Ah, oh, shit. It's the same expression I make on the phone. Okay. So... Oh, Alright, the plot came to us again. Probably Louis. Yep. You know what from you know who. Ah, the office key. Okay. So now we don't have to. Oh, two two seventeen. Oh. Right. We found a fountain pen with some some person that we haven't heard of before name on it. And it was found underneath our chair in the in the dining room. Thankful they're not video calls then. <laughs> okay. Alright, we got ourselves a fountain pen. Uh, okay, so we have the room 217 key and the fountain pen. Alright, ostensibly this hasn't been used in six months. Though, we... We, ne we didn't really need this key because... Oh, oh, that's right. That's right. So after we unlocked uh, the room that the little girl was in with the wire, the wire broke. So our old key, they intentionally broke it before the sequence. And that... Okay. That explains why they took away our old skeleton key. Okay. Before we do this, I'm gonna make sure that. Oh. <laughs> uh. Uh. Hey, I just rented out room two six two seventeen. I need another room. <clears throat> uh. Uh. Um. Uh. Okay, all we did was unlock the door. We didn't go in the door. We just unlocked it. So it's fine. Fine. Everything's fine. Yeah. Yeah, that is... That is what the Monkey S emote was invented for. Alright, the other Kyle Hyde. Eh? Alright. This, oh, this looks different. Well... Obviously she does. <laughs> okay, anything weird here? I don't see anything out of the ordinary. At first blush here. Nice. 
looks like one of the drawers is open. Ah, uh, okay. This is... Okay. So this implies that six months ago, Kyle Hyde was... Was Bradley? <gasps> Bradley. Okay. Mm -hmm. That that sounds like a puzzle to me. So can we squirt some squirt some ink on it? Okay, so that was probably the only thing to do in the room, I'm guessing. Oh, there's... Okay. Alright, so we got a couple of apples here. So this is... 217... Has... A couple apples. So this is the only one with four apples so far. Interesting. So this... There's got to be some... Some point to... Uh, all the apples, there being a different number of apples in all these paintings. Okay. And yeah, why would the painting be gone? Hmm. That was likely the only thing of note here. So we'll see what uh, what happens. Okay. All right. So now we walk around until plot happens. How things usually go here in this game. Okay. All right. No plot happened over there. So we'll head downstairs and look for some more plot. Is it, uh... Does it say what time it is? Okay. So 8 o'clock is when the TV is supposed to turn on. And I'm assuming Dunning is going to show up... ...at the front desk when the TV's on. Uh, right hallway, I don't believe it can go down yet. Uh, hmm. All right, so what about a... Oh, that's right, we, we have a hot date with old lady. I forgot about that. And that's over at the bar, which I think opens at seven? Well, maybe she'll, she's still eating.
All right, old lady is not here anymore. I guess we're tracking down Rosa next. Well, it, it's it's accurate to a lot of hotels, especially the smaller ones. All right, what's up, Rosa? We found our plot. Well, I guess not. Okay. Uh, this also leads me to believe that I might have missed something in room 217 then. Either that or I'm supposed to knock on, uh, knock on that guy's door who's giving me the evil eye for, uh, doing a little late breaking and entering. As you do. Oh, okay. Alright. So let's see if this guy wants to talk. Okay. I suppose I could go up on the roof as well. Uh, let's see. So, old lady was... She wasn't there. She wasn't there. She was maybe here? Alright. This was... I want to speak to your manager lady. Eh? Alright, maybe there's a plot in our room. Okay, perhaps I missed something here. looked at the painting. We already found the lighter in the drawer there. We looked at everything over here. Assuming the window can't be looked at? No. This, uh, whatever that is? No. Nope. Maybe now that we interacted with this, maybe we can move this back into place with that. Oh, oh, aha. Okay, found it. Okay. Alright. Behind the painting of a couple apples. Okay, that was likely our plot trigger. Old photo found. Okay. Eh? 
All right. Now, surely, plot has spawned somewhere in the hotel. Yep, right in front of us, it turns out. Uh... Great. Okay, maybe... It... So now we just get to knock on every door. <laughs> Great. Cool. Alright, well, let's let's check our room first. Oh. Uh... There's... There is a stain on the floor. On the map right here. In front of the bathroom. What? I don't remember that stain being there. Uh... Yeah, the floor's wet. Yeah. I was just... <laughs> If if the bathroom's different now, if I go in here and the bathroom's different. Okay, it looks the same. Who takes off the top of the toilet like this? This is asking for... for trouble. <laughs> uh, uh... That's not how tank lids work. Uh... Alright. I, uh, sure, yes, money in the tank. Yes. Money in the tank. Yep, the, the Japanese don't know about the, the time-honored cultural tradition in America of taking a shit in the upper tank of a toilet and instead assume that that's where we keep our money. <laughs> All right, Rachel, what'd you find? Maybe they just forgot to localize that properly. So this this might be Louis uh stashing the money. Cuz he says he he doesn't know uh he says he, he doesn't have didn't have the money, doesn't know where it is. That that he stole from that that art theft organization. And I have a feeling this is some of that money. So it's either Louie or it's our our ghost police partner guy that we're looking for. Well, we already are, it looks like. Wait, he can handle himself? He... He got told off by, like, an eight-year-old girl and then decided to sulk in his... his hotel room and give up his investigation. 
I don't think he can handle himself. Okay, well, well why'd she call me then? What was the point of this conversation? <laughs> she doesn't have any new info for us. Okay, all right. That's my cue to start walking around aimlessly. Yep, and we'll, we'll wander around. Some real professional investigation. Okay. All right, nothing there. I like that the uh, uh, the bloom from these lights. You can actually see as you're walking through them. See like the edges of the texture of the uh, the billboard for it. Like right, right there. <laughs> like that's not how lights work. Okay. All right, uh, hey, how's it going? Uh, uh, well, um, Just ring the bell, and then we'll listen in on this conversation. All right, let's talk to him again. Okay. Can we get the Dunning first. Pay him off. I wonder if this is a dead man walking condition I'm in right now. I'm like, whoops, you opened that door while while Jeff was watching you. And now you'll you'll find out in like 20 minutes if it's a game over or not. Alright, let's, let's see if it's here. Yeah, Jeff has got things under control, unlock. Unlike hard-boiled police officer, Kyle Hyde. Uh... Alright, maybe, maybe Rosa's got some... Wants to talk. Oh, Rosa's not here. speed goes so slow when you're in that area. Okay, nobody around here. Hmm. Wow. 
well. Not sure where the plot is hiding here. Maybe you're supposed to leave the front desk area and come back to, to eavesdrop here or something? Or we just keep talking to Jeff. Okay, I guess that's a no-go there. Maybe we break into his room while he's down here. Here she is. Business was summer. Okay. Oh, she's a fan of his, I think. She wants an autograph? Yeah, autograph. Oops. Sure. You could just wake him up in the middle of the night. You got a key, Rosa. Oh, I don't like it when she makes that face. <laughs> like the third time I think we've heard the secret word mentioned in the plot of this. on the roof now. Okay. A plot up there. Any plot over here. showed up. This is... Uh-oh. Is this our game over? Is he, is he missing a bunch of cash?
Probably missing a whole bunch of cash. And while Dunning's here, we can uh, we can make change for the vending machine because we finally have uh, cash with us. Ain't nothing. Uh. How's Jeff as a guest? Everybody's here for plot. Stolen, yeah. What was stolen? Is it like twenty grand? Uh change while we're here. So it's not the stack of cash. It's the regular cash. Yes, we need change. Okay. So we got change for the vending machine puzzle. Because it said uh, on the note to... Uh, make change at the front desk. Okay, and I I have a suspicion that we can check to see if if it was the cash that was stolen. But I'm going to say first in case it's like a a game over condition. All right. Check out these fat stacks. That uh, oh. Ah, I knew it. I knew it. Ha! 
I... I didn't steal it. I... I found it. I was turning it in. <sighs> Not how I expected him to act. Well... Okay, I'll count that as a death, even though I am I was pretty sure that's what was gonna happen there. Where where did this set us back to? Oh jeez. Okay. I will I will load my save that I made then so we don't have to do all that again. Uh that one. Yep, yeah, this is the best death. That, that's a Sierra death. For sure. Okay. Let's see if we can get that book signed for Rosa. Hello, Summers. Would you like these stacks of cash I happen to find? Alright, Larry Damon is probably going to be on the, the end of chapter quiz. So remember that one. have the book and a pen with us. Whoa. Okay, alright. I guess we're reading the newspaper then. What do you know? No good, huh? So that, that pen we have has the name Alan on it. Is there anybody with the name H that we know of in the hotel? Look at that character. So we can't do it from this screen. All right, we'll just have to remember that, I guess. Oh, that's, that's all that's in there, apparently. So maybe, maybe the old lady? Helen? That's old lady, yeah. Okay. So maybe she's looking for... 
for dude on pen. I'll have to ask her about that. And that's probably why she's so specific about wanting to stay in uh, room 215. Yeah, Alan Parker. Oh. Uh oh. Oh, okay. Uh oh. Don't mess with Rosa. Land sakes. That's... I have never heard anybody ever say that. Is... is Mr. Summer a ghost? set of stairs. What? Huh. Hey, Jeff. Yeah, catch up on the story. Yeah, there's a lot going on in this one. How can you even get to the back stairs? Like... It's a locked door. There's nothing but locked doors around here. Got the door in the lobby, head down the right hallway. Yeah, and that's been locked all the time. They go up to the second... Okay, that, that must be that other hallway that uh, has also been locked. Definitely a ghost. Definitely. Yeah, now it's now it's unlocked, of course. Emma Kip said the uh not track for this one's very good. Like there's only so much you can do with DS. Dia sound trip. I think they did a good job. Like most things on on the original DS are like super low bit rate, but the the ones that take that into account can do a pretty good job with it. So we're still on the lookout for another one of those stickers that has a, a number on it. But I doubt it would be here. It's probably in the bar is where that last one is. Because we only have one more to find before, uh, before we're good. searching the utility closet for all that money. 
We've been in that room. I wouldn't know anything about that. I... Yeah, what, what's, what is missing? That would be lucky. Question here is which nutcase guest? <laughs> There's like three. Um, sure. So this is the second time we're asking Dunning directly about what was stolen. And now he just straight up tells us, like, what? Definitely don't do anything suspicious. I also have that picture still. sure if I need to put back all that that stuff I borrowed so I think I'll I'll save here and replace the stuff and see if anything anything weird happens hey cloud all right so we we borrowed the wire cutters or pliers I guess and something else 
that and let me uh pretty sure that's where I got them from use one of these then Well, the game's not letting me replace the stuff, so I guess it's it's mine now forever. Them's the rules. Okay. All right, we're on the on the lookout for plot again, I guess. Uh, so nobody up here. So let's see. Summer's room is this one, two eleven. Well, let's see if we can. Oh, oh no. Hopefully you didn't hear me try to... Okay, good. But, uh... Alright. Hold on, sir. I need to... Examine... What the hell? There are... I guess there's there's a couple apples on this one too. But it's it's a very different painting. So Huh. All right. Let me rifle through the your thing, sir. Uh-huh. That's, that's just a dresser. Screwed it all up for him. Whoops. Well, he's the one who told us. You could have just gone by a false name or something. I think I asked the wrong question there. Wrong, oh, I guess can't follow up on that. Is, is this like a double false name situation here? Would it be this pen? What? Oh. 
What? Huh? Isaac. Oh, you got a new world record? Congratulations. Good luck for two, huh? What's your name again? Martin Summer, is that his pen name? And his real name is Alan something? I just wanted a free pen. Yeah, yep, okay, yep. Summers is his pen name. Eh? Alan Parker, okay. All right, exposed. All right, now sign, sign my book. showing him. <laughs> nice. Okay. here then. Oh, this is... Alright. Search all of his shit while he's taking shit. Guy a time traveler? <laughs> I... oh. Okay. Huh. Alright. Now on. Plot hunt 1979 again. So now we probably need to track down Rosa and give her the book. And then... Oh. Oh. Alright, it's Karen. Let's talk to our manager. Yep. Oh, 
Okay. And I presume that means gotta go into our room and open our very secure briefcase and put all of our permanently borrowed things in there. Even though the suitcase can be opened with a length of wire. Uh... How... What? Do I have to do it from here, I guess? Okay. And then... So, pliers... Can I hide that? Uh... Okay, probably need to hide this. Yeah. Uh, this? Okay. <laughs> yeah, the wizard. Um, let's see. This? This is contraband, I guess? Okay, apparently not. Uh... Alright, th th this crowbar? Okay, so apparently all the stuff in the utility closet is not contraband, even though it probably is. Alright, I guess we're okay then. Probably save just in case. Hey, Gator. Game progression been tonight? only been playing it like an hour, but we have been finding plot. Okay. Alright. So now presumably once you go downstairs, the game does the hey did you hide your stuff check. Yep, here it is. All right, empty out all your pockets. You have like a giant crowbar in your pockets somehow. Uh. Uh. With what? What? Seriously? Okay, I was probably supposed to... ...use the... ...fucking hell. Yeah, I was probably supposed to use the stuff on the, the utility closet. Because it had to be the... the closet contraband stuff. Oh, man. Okay. Good thing I saved. And I'll just... I'll just do a retry. I'm assuming they'll take me back to... Uh no, I need to load my save. Okay. Hello, anime Steven Seagal. Welcome. Okay. Yep, this is totally King's Quest 3 now. We need to hide our contraband before Mananen shows up and shakes us down. I have to turn Dunning into a cat. <sighs> oh, 
Okay. This is where I got that stuff, right? It wasn't the linen closet. Was it, was it something? What the hell? sworn it was that, uh, it was this, that this right here was where the, the stuff was. It's a, maybe I need to, Maybe I need to put the cash in the... In the toilet? Or something? Alright, let's, let's check here first, I guess. What the hell? So we... So I guess now this explains why the... The second floor, uh, secondary stairs... Why the door is locked on the second floor. And you can only... It's only a one-way avenue from that second staircase, because otherwise you could just bypass Dunning to get downstairs. Um, so we can't just skip Dunning, it looks like. And it looks like this is where the, the thing was. Okay, so even though Dunning was... <laughs> he was saying stuff got stolen from the other room, it's actually this room. Okay, this makes sense. everything all right so that's pretty much all of our contraband from what I can remember should pass the check here. All right, Dunning. It 
must be that red box then. Which I... Because that was the only thing we took from his office, was the red box. And that's probably why he mentioned that something's gone from his, uh, his office. That and the key. Um... Well, no, we, we took it from the lost and found. <laughs> Very different. Uh... Okay, I'm gonna reload the save again. And yeah, it's, uh... I, I'm pretty sure I tried to put away that, that box, though. And that one's... That... Okay. Yep, two deaths from the same... same puzzle. We're stacking up. Practically a Sierra game now. Okay. Oh. Don't look at the suitcase. Wait, there's there is a red box in there. So the the cash is a small amount of cash, not the twenty grand. Uh yeah, and I did put I put the box in there. So so what, the thin wire? That that was just a paper clip, so I'm not sure why that would be contraband. Uh the men's magazine? Okay, that- that was in his office. There we go, okay. That had to be it. The memo we took from underneath the... the filing cabinet. Uh... So this was- this was just from one of the rooms. That was also from one of the rooms. That was from Rosa, and that we got from Dunning himself. So that, that was likely it. Okay. Alright, this time, for sure. Oh, what? So he doesn't even, he doesn't even check if you... He's just not even here if you don't have any contraband? Okay. Sure? Alright. So we're- we're looking for Rosa now. She's likely in the restaurant area? your face, Rosa. We got COVID-19 going around. Fifty. She's stockpiling autograph books.
great animation. Sure, this is how people hand over things. Yeah, th this guy is totally an imposter. <laughs> Alright, we got a standoff. Huh. Okay. Alright, this we're probably gonna have to... This is probably plot relevant. Distinctive penmanship. Ah, okay, so we saw that notebook on the table. And it just, it looked like regular writing to me. Martin Samu. Sure. This. That. That just looks like writing to me. All right. So this this is probably relevant to something that. teach cursive anymore. Kids these days are lucky. I hate cursive so much. <laughs> cursive was the worst. Summers. So also literature critic Rosa. Live fairly well off royalties. Well, you're staying at this hotel, so you can't, can't be doing that great. Oh, okay. So not a pen name. That's his real name? There's a lot of things I'm not sure about now in this. So she's sure that that was his autograph, but his story doesn't match up. Somebody's stories just don't match up at all. Huh.
Just a call. I just I glanced over that last line that he said there a little too quickly. And it, it looked like it said something about I need to go back to my room. But there we go. we'll check in here, I guess. Is he implying that Kyle Hyde is too stupid to be a writer? If you can do it. Literature. can do it I didn't so I didn't want to ask that first because that seems like it would make him even more mad like we're on the same level or something well, and then he brings up the notebook like I would have picked that if it mentioned the notebook in the question like uh. These are both correct. Well, no shit. Like, what? Whose regular writing looks like their signature? Hmm. 
What? Well, I, I just... My signature is just my name in cursive. <laughs> and then my regular writing is, is not cursive. That's, that's how you do that. Uh, your name's not Alan. I, ooh, I'm not sure about this one. Uh, yeah, my writing is awful too. Uh, shit. Gotta go with this one. Jeez. What are you saying, you bro? All right, simple question. Uh, it exposes you. Is it a... is it a ghost? He must have a ghost writer. Who's something up? Okay, I think we need a direct, direct approach here. Oh. Oh, no. This is, this is probably a retry. They look the same to me, but I circled them because that's what the game mentioned before. Uh, 
Man. This is going full Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney. Where the answers are, ugh. That, the, that. Okay. <laughs> okay. What? Uh... No, nope, we're just some guy. Just digging into something that is not our business. I still fail to see how this this whole side story is relevant to the main plot of the game. <laughs> uh, I'm sure it'll all tie together, but I'm not seeing... Maybe, like, he's supposed to be the bag man for the, the stolen cash and art or something? down the stylus for a while. Oh 
man. I think Alan would have noticed. Ha. Huh. So what, what did we even accomplish for this whole <laughs> adventure? Okay. All right, it's quiz time, I guess. Okay. Yeah, we still don't know what's up with uh, the painter. Also found a picture. Stack of cash in the toilet, yeah. Did 
talked about his writing style. Or the real name, I guess. She told me about all these things. But the real name, I guess? Yeah. Secret was stole friend's work. What? Again, why why does this matter? our business uh. This is chapter six or five? Chapter five, all right. Apparently there's 10 chapters, so we are roughly halfway through the game. What's to do with all that loot? We, we put it in our, our case. Assuming I, I keep it in there. Otherwise, Dunning's gonna shake us down. Alright, this must be the, the call about the painter. So, does it even matter anymore? The thing with the painter? Painted on a bookmark, huh? Three years ago, so that that lines up when with when Louis was mixed up with the art theft gang, and also when uh, Bradley was also involved in that. Largest. Okay. Thank you. 
bar is open. Oh yeah, yeah, Rosa said she's gonna let us into her room to talk to Mila. And then we also have hot date with old lady at the bar. Because I believe the bar is open at 8. But we'll we'll go talk to Mila first. Or So he was probably he's probably looking for his stolen cash, which we definitely do not have. E uh sure. Ah. Great. Hey, okay, good talk. Like what? It was stolen. We know it was stolen. It's a bunch of cash. <laughs> That's mine now. I don't know if I want to be that specific, but that's probably the right choice. Uh, oh no. He, he probably, he probably never told the man, he, he probably never told Dunning exactly how much cash it was. He probably just said, I lost a lot of cash. Oh, God. Uh-oh. <laughs> Fuck. Fuck. Oh no. <laughs> exactly what I suspected would happen. Yeah, we got we got nothing on us. No nothing. Well, okay, this isn't a game over. <laughs> Or probably isn't. But... Why not call a I know exactly why. <laughs> there is no shortage of shady shit in this hotel. Ok. 
cut. All right. Good talk, Dunning. We're done here. All right. Uh, I think of it. Dunning did say something. I don't know what that last part was about, but it didn't. Oh. Okay. It didn't give me that option before. It's a lot of fucking money, especially in 79. <laughs> we'll deal with this in chapter six. <laughs> okay. All right, we're deferring this one for a chapter. So, so now I really hope this isn't a dead man walking situation. Of like, whoops, you said the wrong thing to... to the guy in in the beginning of chapter five and you're gonna pay for it at the beginning of chapter six have fun all right so Russell's room's over here apparently the hopefully this is still unlocked I'm hoping okay good there she is game over situations have been like immediate game overs so so far I'm gonna say no that with the terrible fate Roberta Williams is not going to let me get, make it through this game. Roberta says, try something different next time. Try not dying next time. Oh man. Rosa's got some, some classy furniture. Haven't seen a, a real proper 1970s couch, though. There's been zero plaid in this hotel. I'm a little disappointed. Okay. Oh, well, all right. This, this couch is close, so close enough. Aw, 
Ah. Uh, um. Okay. Elbow. Uh oh. Was I supposed to blow into the microphone? She, she's mute, Kyle. Did Kyle forget that she cannot talk? Alright, bunch of yes-no questions then. Alright, I have a feeling I need to show her that picture. Either that or the lighter. This better not be in cursive. Okay. Her handwriting's about as good as mine is. <laughs> name it's clearly papa <laughs> that that is not bradley all right case closed making this extra tedious. Alright. We're interrogating Mila here while she's running a fever. I'm sure Rosa's gonna really appreciate that. But first, we have hot date with old lady. What? I thought the bar opened at eight. Maybe she's in here. Oh. oh okay. Well, I guess we're going back to our room then. Oh 
way in the hallway. Nope. Old lady, she's ready for the date. Nope. Uh uh. Okay. All right. Sewing mini game. I guess. Well, what's she asking me for? Then? <laughs> what? Man. Gadgets. Oh, we we do have a we have a, a little portable sewing machine. We can totally solve this puzzle. <laughs> sure. it in this box. on the game so far at the, the halfway point um this this game is more visual novel than i thought it would be i was expecting this to be have more puzzles rather than uh like more of this when it seems like most of this game has been aimlessly wandering around trying to find plot and i i don't like that style of adventure game really like, I wasn't that- that face. Oh, man. <laughs> there is a lot to like this. I- I do like the- the plot so far. I like the art. I think it's got a neat method of moving around the game world. But... A lot of the dialogue in this game is... Too long-winded for me. As- as most, uh, visual novel type games go. Like in, in something like King's Quest, it was the the split between dialogue, exploration, and puzzles was um, like 10% dialogue, 60% exploration, and then the rest puzzles. And in this, it's like 90% dialogue. <laughs> Which I wasn't expecting. Was Angel. Okay. All right, the angel's up to no good again. And yeah, there's this this sort of pseudo real time system in the game, but I don't think it. I don't know.
Yeah, he might have planted the cache there, but that... That would be weird. Maybe he's trying to frame us, and... I don't know. So I'm in front of the restaurant. Now the left hallway door. Up to no good on the other side. There aren't that many things in here. Though. There's the laundry, the electrical room, kitchen. So I'm, I'm guessing it's probably the laundry room. So the boiler room might also be an option here. Don't see anything too different here? I know that there was this. And this. We're interactive. Yeah. And, and that's it for the things there. Okay, so unlikely to be any funny business here, then. Yippee. Okay. So then... I doubt, uh... There's only, like, two things in this room. And we were already in here before for that, uh... That weird puzzle. This didn't even open the last time I was here. Uh, yeah, so nothing new there. Yeah. Okay, so unlikely to be this. Is this game going to make me click on every single thing in the pantry again? Aha! I am, I am tapping. What the, what? Oh. Ha. Yeah, so it was a gun and 20 grand that was stolen. So there's, there's both things that were officially stolen. Okay. Uh, if we tell him about the gun, then we're probably going to have to tell him about the 20 grand, too. And that's probably just going to lead to more problems. So... We'll go with this. Nothing. Dang it.
Alright, maybe we can salvage this. <laughs> okay. Oh. I don't know, it might be Rosas. Probably Angel. Yep, Jeff Angel. Totally real name, Jeff Angel. in effect. on it. Someone with access to our room. Like I'm I'm assuming our door is locked. Huh. a lighter and a photograph. Sure. 
He's always doing something stupid. Uh. This, this seems very risky. Uh, so if I just say, just calm away, that could directly tie the distraction to us. So maybe a... a a distraction unrelated to the two of us might be the better option here. What's it gonna do? Leave the water running or something? Take the gun and shoot it through the wall? I, this seems like a really dumb plan. I, they could just say he's got a package at the front desk or something. Or like, there's cops outside that want to talk to him. Or they need him to go down to the station. All manner of things to get him out of the hotel for a while. But no, he's gonna go into the next door room and, and make a bunch of noise. Uh... Okay, th this seems like a place that could, things could get risky here. So we'll, uh, save here. And then see what this incredible plan is. Is the plan going down now, or...? Ah. Oh. Okay. <laughs> uh... <laughs> yeah, I win. Oh, 217. Alright. I already forgot the plan. Nice. Perfect. Do I have to unlock it first? Okay. Alright. We're ready for mayhem. This, this seems like the worst plan. This room's got an air conditioner. Classy. Uh, alright. First things first, check the toilet.
the one place we know he hides things. layout is slightly different here. Okay, so the TV is different. I don't see anything out of the ordinary here. Okay. is the the name of the guy who had his house robbed uh yesterday in game uh yeah yep in the paper burglary yep quite brazen yeah, Larry Damon. A friend of his, so... O okay. I'm assuming that's going to be the only thing of note in the room. Unless... Room 215. Ah. But why our room? Okay, this is... So that's likely everything to be found here. Alright. So if we leave the room... Mm -hmm. 
He did both of these things. But... This is probably the more important thing. We have a key. Yeah, an eyewitness. A very reliable witness who can't solve a... a 4x4 jigsaw puzzle. if I could have saved directly before this. Jeff Damon is his fake name. And he just used that to go to school. Show him the pistol. Hey, check out this gun. baffled is what, what the hell you're supposed to do here. Maybe you're just supposed to back out of the conversation? Alright. Peace. Paper. Yeah. Am I supposed to go get the newspaper then? 
Use that to confront him? That's what we needed. Alright. We gotta finish solving this puzzle before we can have our hot date with old lady. Where she's tangentially related to this weird caper. Can't just go right back in, can we? Kyle Hyde, I'm here to solve your puzzle. I'm gonna keep knocking. It's Kyle Hyde. Here, check out this newspaper. Kyle Hyatt, open up. <laughs> uh, shit. Um, okay, maybe I gotta go talk to, to Summers then about it? I, uh, or we have to do that. Oh, God. Did I... Did I? Oh, geez. Uh, is it time for the hot date? All right, maybe the, the roof will help us out here. Nobody up here. Okay. All right, Louis, make another distraction, buddy. not working. I... Oh. Alright, maybe... Gotta go back in here for another distraction. Uh, are we soft locked? The TV's not on. Alright, maybe Dunning's in his office. It's not. So we'll, we'll save us. Of course not. Uh, okay. Storage. Uh, 
All right, it's time for hot date then, clearly. Why is this still locked? The, the bar is supposed to be open. Supposed to open at 8. What the hell? Well, there's no plot here. So whatever it is I'm supposed to do, it's likely, uh... back on the second floor. So there's some sort of plot trigger up here. This is... Huh. Maybe I gotta... Maybe we gotta get little girl involved? Our, our eyewitness? Uh, I don't know. I... supposed to take the cash out of the suitcase? Okay, well... So, so Angel said he mentioned offhand that if we dusted the gun for Prince, we would only find ours. And we have, we have dusted something for Prince, or I dusted a thing previously, so, um, let's see, so that was, that was over here? I'm not looking for suggestions, by the way, I'm here. I will. I would like to figure this out on my own. Uh, so is this, and then so there is this. We use this to to dust that pen. So if we use this on this, no. Shit. Okay, so we can't we can't dust the gun for Prince. It's so weird that it let me pick up the newspaper after all that. Hmm. 
So we already checked the bar. Bar's closed. Nothing in the restaurant. We haven't been down this little hallway. I'm assuming that there's no... Yeah, no bot things up there. Okay, we haven't tried going up that, uh... That side staircase over here. See if something comes up. Uh, yeah, nothing there either. Yeah, and there's nothing. No other hot spots on this. It's just the door, the door knob, and then the, the nameplate. Yeah, he's just got the same dialogue every time. Huh? Yeah, it's just <laughs> the same. Same dialogue. All right, well, maybe we can pick the lock with our our trusty thin wire. No. Uh. Like using. You'd think, like, using items on the door would let you confront him with these items, but, uh... Uh... Coin, <sighs> slime machine... This is so weird. Why does it... It lets you... It it let me leave though. It let me leave the room. Like <laughs> I was just baffled. For why that uh that let me do that. And then we can't like we can't reset things by Will Louie want to talk to us again? Yeah, this this is looking more and more like a soft lock. I'm not sure what the hell else I can do here. I'm pretty sure I've checked everywhere that could be checked. Maybe we have to knock on this door to get Louie to... Alright, I didn't try all the doors. We can... No. Uh, so what room is old lady? 212. 211. 216. Alright, we haven't tried 212 yet. Maybe old lady will save the day. Summers wasn't in last time. 220, I think nobody's here. Alright, pretty sure I open this. Maybe there's just an event out on the roof. They so just have to walk over here. Okay, 
Open up that. Maybe Dunning's in one of these rooms. Oh. All right, right hallway. We can't go through that door. That's what CRTs do. Okay. World news. Here's the weather. Sure. Supposed to leave this on to get Dunning to show up or something? Maybe you're supposed to uh, use a newspaper on the TV? So I could have used this earlier. All right. I'm not sure what the point is of that then. Done anything with room one eleven yet? Hmm. Pretty sure I checked everything over here. So there's like Dunning might be searching the Well, it's worked before a game. I think we've been in this room at all yet. And then...
this is Yes, I didn't I didn't look in these rooms. Yeah, I guess for thoroughness, maybe there's Perhaps Dunning is in the laundry room. Or I'm, or I'm missing a clue in here or something. right now so if if angel won't talk to us and i can't get through the door i can't think of anything that i have that would get me through the door besides like the pistol but that that's not going to solve anything yeah this door has always been locked i'm assuming rosa's just not here she's over with mila Dunning is nowhere to be found. The the bar is still closed. There's nobody else here. The restaurant is also closed. So it looks like our our only relevant thing right now is uh is the room room two eleven door, but or two thirteen. But all we can accomplish here is knocking. And then he says to go away. So the thin wire didn't do anything. Like I guess I could I could go into my trunk and get out the cash and confront him with the cash, but I I don't see how that would solve anything. So we have the pistol, the student ID, and the newspaper, and the the duplicate key. Those are the incriminating things, but. But I'm not. I don't see how any of those can get us through the door here. Like maybe you, you have to be walking around... Walking around up here with the cash in your inventory to, to get Dunning to confront you. And then... And then things go from there? What's this? This is the 217 key. That, that's not going to help me. Alright, so we'll, we'll take the stack of cash. I should probably put back the 217 key. Because that's, that's not going to help our case. Okay, so now maybe with the cash, this changes things? Okay. Okay? What does... 
Sure. Okay. Now seems like a good time to save to that third slot. <laughs> Okay. Progress. Made it in the door, at least. Alright. Show them the student ID. Show them the cash. the newspaper okay that's what it is So now that we've established that... Okay. Okay. Now we can we can start asking questions. Wanted it found? Yeah. The whys is what I don't immediately get here. more evidence and then this I guess okay maybe the stack of cash then again
it's probably him wanting trouble because he also wanted the gun to be found. cap in this guy's ass if he doesn't get to the point. We're the one with the gun. Sounds like we spelled it out, so... Okay. 
Art theft ring. Yep. It is all weirdly connected. Okay. I wonder if this means that, uh, that fake author guy or fake and or real author guy is working for Niall, maybe. Maybe that's why he mentioned that he knew he knew Damon and that he's weirdly into art. And maybe that's that's why he's being blackmailed by his former assistant or something. Yes, very cool. face. Sure. of a man who got himself a paperclip. Thank you. 
All right. Here's the quiz. Let's see if I was paying attention. <sighs> told me about the painting. He's opening door. Yeah. Yeah. Running into Jeff. Jeff asked me if Dunning said anything. Yep. Father's name? Oh, jeez. It's like... Edward... Robert Evans. That, that seems correct. Yep. Jacket was the student ID. Chapter five, I think that was. Yep. Okay. And that is where we're going to call this part of Hotel Dusk complete. We'll play more of this in uh, the next part. Okay. So, close this up. Okay. All right. So, I'm going to step away for a couple minutes here. Get set up for the second part of the stream, which is going to be uh, part five of Vanguard Bandits. So, I'll be right back.
All right. Let's try out my handy dandy program thing here. So hopefully this doesn't burst into flames when I click on this. Hey, it didn't. All right. Much easier <laughs> when I could just do that. All right. So Vanguard of Bandits part five. We are ten and a half hours into this one. Uh, Peace Explosion number 204. Uh, let's see. Last time we got the Robo Pope. We, uh, we are, I think we're invading the Emperor Empire right now. I think last time the, the Emperor got, uh, assassinated. Um, and the, the Empire's in shambles right now and we're moving in to, to take over the Empire or something, I guess. Uh, our, our waifu is still missing. Uh... The Imperial Princess has, I think, joined our party? I think, I think that happened. Uh... And as far as other things that happen... Sure. Sure. Is, is about all I can remember for those, so... So that'll, uh... That covers that, I suppose. Okay. Alright, let's, uh... Let's do it. Damn old dude just tells me to go places to find a Oh, of course we're not uh not getting the signal. I don't know why this is this has been doing this lately. Like I said it to uh, deactivate when not showing. There we go. Weird. Okay. And for whatever reason, I'm only getting left audio. To be free, oh, okay, how that's much why. English will you have to bear? Sword in hand, okay. On the dead. Vengeance is soon to come. All right. Embrace life, choose the path of just nobility. So why is this not working now? Putting out a minor fire over here on my other PC. <laughs> All right. Blam gun blast. That was uh, uh, machine head. Was that game? Blam machine head. Okay. All right, so I believe we're invading the Imperial Capital in this mission. Yeah, the Royal Capital. And there's the Sarbalus. And there's some, like, weird prototype mech. That we're up against. All right, what inappropriate thing does Andrew have to say? So we to start the timer. Sure. All right. Well, I guess we gotta hear the story.
Okay. It's just... Oh, working designs. Yep. Whoop. It, hey, at least these games got brought to the West. All right, so as is usually the case, this is likely not all the units that we're going to be up against. I'm assuming once we take out, like, two or three of them, there's going to be a bunch of reinforcements spawning right there. That's usually how this has been going. And then... Annihilate the enemy, as usual. Okay. And then these units are... 18. Okay, so they, they all look roughly the same. Okay. Alright, we'll, uh... We'll just do this. No. But I can't hit him with the... Range to attack. Sure, let's do this. Oh, they don't have very high defense. So yeah, these these definitely aren't the only units we're gonna be up against here. Cause these units are very much not very strong. Alright. Okay, Robopope. We need to make sure Robopope doesn't get back attacked. But it'll probably be okay. Actually, you know what? We're gonna... We're gonna put Robopope right here. I need to have Robopope take the least amount of damage as possible because that's the one unit I can't heal is Robopope. So it's... It's gonna be rather important to, uh... Keep Robopope in one piece. Uh... Okay. Oh, man. That's a... That's a nice sound to listen to through my new... in-ear monitors. Rena got hit with. Okay. Man, they're just defending. This is this is clearly Yep. This Vanguard Bandits ASMR. I'm a little disappointed that this game doesn't have actual anime yelling in the battles, like like a star ocean. Uh, 28%, we, we good. Because this this probably would be improved with, with anime yelling. Huh, okay, so they're just... Their AIs just don't move, I guess. Sure. Actual ASMR. I'm not sure ASMR even existed when this game came out. Or at least not in what it's referred to as. Further reinforcements. Okay. Oh. 
probably needed to have already finished up these. Okay, I might have been a little too conservative here. Oh, that's what that is. They just can't move for an amount of turns. That's unfortunate. If the, if the enemies over here aren't going to move, then I might as well just backstab all of them. Yeah, the, the anime yelling in the Star Ocean games is really... It's iconic. One HP. Uh, seriously? Man, and he's gonna get hit too. Okay, what if I moved here and hit it? Five HP. So there is there is some sort of terrain advantage. Okay, I guess I'll hit him with the range two ice shards then. I don't want to get hit with quicksand though. So... What? Now I can't move over there? What? I'll... N I'll never understand. This game's menus. So I, I backed out of all the all the menus, and then it somehow still moved him and used up a used up a movement tile. I, sure. so weird that they they're just programmed not to move but that's crazy big whiff okay i'm wondering if uh that's hp fp recovery but that's not status recovery so i'm assuming so if i did this to reina Man. Ugh. Okay, it didn't cure her status. So I still need to be careful. Hmm. So she was she was able to dodge that, but she's still immobile. Yeah, here's a good idea for our video game sound effects. Scratch some nails on a chalkboard. And then just... Put it in the game.
Okay. So apparently the prince's unit is is OP. Sarvalus. Doesn't look any different to me, but I'm sure we'll find out. And if we leave those two units over there. All right, I just gotta make sure that no more of my units get hit by quicksand, because I need them to be mobile. And I'm really hoping that the, the quicksand status effect wears off at some point. Because if it doesn't, then that is that is a very big problem. Because I still don't have any healing spells besides, uh, besides Robo Pope. All right, 12% chance to hit. This better miss. Are you fucking kidding me? Okay, it did, all right, it did wear off. It wore off on Horseman. Okay. So not all hope is lost. Just, just a lot of it. Okay. I feel slightly better about this now. Alright, Robopo. Got this. Or not? Shit. All right, I'm gonna have to bank on this hitting. 78% chance to hit, so naturally... Okay, good. Uh... So there, so as long as I stay out of range of these two, we, uh, we should be good. All right, increase. All right, all the buffs on Robo Pope. Dang, that is, that's a really long range on that. Sure, let's do it. That's not that bad. Sure, it's a 95% chance to hit, but that's not hitting for like a lot or anything. And if I counterattack, 7% chance to counterattack. Shit, I'll just defend. Oh, we've already we've already fought this thing. We fought this thing on like mission. Six or something. Mm. 
Uh... Alright, I get the feeling that as long as I have Robo Pope in the area, or or keep the boss down on this end of the map. Shit. Okay. Hmm. So it looks like the the one square attack from the boss doesn't hit for much, but the two score attack hits like a truck. What the hell am I gonna do here then? I guess I'll I'll keep her in the area, but out of harm's way for now. Okay. Thirteen percent chance to hit, so surely this will miss. Okay. Oh, he's got four bodyguards. All right, thirty-seven percent chance to miss. A hit. Of course. Savor my flavor. Reducing the boss's attack is gonna. Yeah, it's 50 50. Alright, how much does a, a regular hit do? Not much either. I'm gonna go for the attack down. Please hit. Please hit. Okay, good. Okay. All right, so we got an attack down debuff on the boss. And then... Move him over here, just in case Robopope needs to... to get over there. Give him the business. And actually, I could probably have... Andrew back attack him. Or not. That's still doing a lot of damage. Okay. Alright, and move Matt away for Robo Pope. Uh oh. Uh oh. I have aggroed the other ones. Okay, 38%. Okay. Alright, give Robo Pope a turn. Robo Pope has been like fully buffed for a whole bunch of other turns. No, no turns for Robo Pope. Uh. Dang. All right, these these bodyguards are no joke. Dang. All right. Finally. All right. Ooh, I won't be able to... Okay. I 
I can't remember if the uh, lightning strike. It, oh, okay. All right, cool. And then I have a feeling this guy's gonna retreat after this, because that's what he did in the other battles when he got down to super low HP. Yep. Took one bodyguard with him. Okay. Essentially, two units, quote unquote, killed in one turn. No, I didn't get any XP from it. Uh, okay. Is try to avoid. And of course. Mm. God, she takes so much damage from everything. percent chance to counter. Let's do this. It's a hundred percent. Hundred percent. Okay. Well, he would have been in bad shape regardless. So, fine. I am okay with this result. Scrupulous Pooter Pirate. All right. Uh, all right. This is probably my my best move here. And then we could take out the rest of them in the next turn.
All right. Maxed out power. Sure. Let's just <laughs> let's just min max this. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Uh, probably just attack the one in front of me. Of course. Great if it didn't play this fanfare every single time. Probably added like 10 minutes to the, the length of this game just listening to fanfares. Assuming this hits, 65%. Of course. Uh. <laughs> Alright, Robocope. Finish the job. the end of the level. Okay. They're gonna take power here, I guess. Yep. All right. Top 10 anime betrayal.
Uh-oh. Yeah, this could have very easily been a 16-bit, 16-bit game. Well, wasn't the, uh, uh, Super Nintendo front mission kind of similar style to this? Because I've only played the front mission 3 on PS1, and then, um, Whatever the one on PS2 was. So Hibernia was, um, two, two Hibernia mechs showed up in the edge of one of the battles and just kind of watched, I think. I think they were a neutral country or something at this, in the, in the game lore. Keep forgetting that our father's name is Dragula. So good. That had to be on purpose that they did that.
Okay, so we we've seen her. She was at the at the one of the battles. Yeah, that battle. Yep. Yep. And now it's getting very anime. Probably related. Hey, it's Waifu. So that's where she escaped to. That was easy.
What even is her her portrait? Is her mouth open or is she sticking her tongue out? Or both? Huh. Yeah, mid-90s anime artists. Couldn't do mouth, that's why they're mostly chin. And they all have long hair covering their ears so they don't have to draw ears either. That's how you do it. Finally, access to a shop again. All right, let's see. What we got the shop. Dang. Okay. That that's probably supposed to be Durandal. And I'm not sure if I even want to bother upgrading her weapons anymore, because she's just... God, she's useless. Uh... Alright, we'll upgrade his at least. And then... Upgrade theirs. Still ridiculous that you have to go into this other menu just to change equipment. Okay. Okay. Looks like we got a new party member for this fight. Okay. All right, Alden. He's got similar stats to the, uh, uh, to Robopope, except instead of how, everything just goes into defense and dodging. Okay. We got pretty high speed, too. Okay. I also realized that, uh, uh, we have this thing. We have the Alba. So maybe I should I should take her out of her dumb spear thing and and put her in the Alba, which is main character's old uh What is this? The Flaros? What? We've also got uh Huh We've we've had the these for however long. Holy crap. Okay, uh... Sure, that's yours now. And... Barlow, you get the... The that. Okay. Ah... Uh, oh, that's, uh... Hunt Menace, Mental Vision, Wrong Wind. Okay, and then what's he got? 
Dang. Pulling mist. Okay. Does he have a heal? Of course not. Okay. Alright, does this change what people can equip and buy at the store? So now he can equip the... Ah, oh, shit. I just- I- so I bought a bunch of- Oh, man. Should I just load my save and- I should probably just load my save. I'm gonna do that, because that- That was a lot of- a lot of money that I just wasted there. Unnecessarily. Okay, so we're gonna switch over the ATAX first, and then we're gonna buy. <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna put her in that. We're gonna put the Devlin in. No, we're gonna put Barlow in that. Okay. Now we're gonna buy stuff. Okay. So one Durandar. And two Widowmakers. And then that's it. Okay. Oh, interesting. That's just... That's just her weapon forever now. I think this is going to be the Earthstone, and Earthstone gives a heal. So I'm going to buy one of those. Now what we got here? Base 4. I'm pretty sure these are the... the same things I could get previously. Like, I, I have Dex Rings on most units. So no need for that. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Lapis Lazuli is blue. And I think somebody else even has it equipped. Alright, so I'm gonna make Devlin our healer then. Well, we'll see what that does. That is, yeah, that is very blue. Opal. Okay, well... Miss. Yeah, Zach isn't cool. Alright, well, let's buy the other ones and see what they do. <laughs> We're eventually gonna find one that, that's Earth Element. Alright, so this one's probably red. Uh, that one we already have on somebody, and it was green, I think. So, what is this? Oh, Fire Ceiling Stone. Earth Ceiling. There we go. I never would have guessed the Tiger's Eye is Earth, but there we go. Okay. A level 4 earth stone. I guess I could have just read the fucking description. <laughs> okay, we'll get two of those and then equip them on... on... mechs here, and we should be able to use healing spells. Eh. Alright. Earth heal, there we go. Okay. Sick. Alright, and then we're gonna put the other one on... Uh... How about Barlow? So we'll have Devlin and Barlow be our healers. 
because I don't think I can change Reyna's stone. Okay. There we go. All right, cool. So now we have two he two main healers, and we've also got Robo Pope, who's able to heal. Uh, okay. I was actually getting really worried that we weren't going to be able to, to ever get a healing spell before things got really rough, but uh, it seems we did. Excellent. Okay. So it's defend the castle, I guess, is the mission here. What inappropriate thing is Andrew going to say this time? how Devlin became a super serious character when he's just been the opposite for most of this game. Okay, well, let's, let's do it. I also just realized that the, the, the background to that menu screen has been Robopope for the whole game, but we haven't had Robopope for the whole game. Oh shit, we're fighting Claire? Wait, that's a different Claire. Huh. Oh, that's her! Yeah, she's, she's, she's got the Valley Girl dialogue. Did it change halfway to... I guess I wasn't paying as much attention. <laughs> Alright, stick to the plan. Come at me one at a time while I dismantle them. Uh, alright. So if I've learned anything from, from Star Wars, we need to get the high ground ASAP. Or I could probably just hang out over here and let them come at me one at a time. Dang. Alright, so what does this even do? Turn Quake. Oh, it randomly rotate. Okay, so this is... This is, uh... Um... Shit. The Eye of Judgment. This is... This is Eye of Judgment now. Alright, HP recovery... Defense increase. That's... That's... Good. Man, what a game the Eye of Judgment was. Drawing mechanics from from this game of all games. All right, so uh, maybe they uh, the ones in the back didn't aggro, and maybe I can just hang out here. No, okay, they didn't. Never mind. Suggested that you get Eye of Judgment. Well, they got to clear that inventory somehow. Alright. Let's, let's 
Which fight ever flew up? Nine bucks pack. Yeah, that that seems about uh, about right for how much those things generally go for. Range on this attack. Like even it, if it doesn't do a ton of damage, it's nice that you can at least chip away from that far away. Okay, let's uh, get some buffs going here. Man, I really wish all of the spells didn't make that noise. Alden has really high defense. Oh, FP recovery. Okay, that's uh, that is quite useful. All right, I'm gonna let him come to me. So despite what I know about getting the high ground, I'm gonna let them have the high ground. Well, I guess, I guess the same person that made that decision was the same person that, uh, got all of the other sound effects from this, the, the one sound effect CD that everybody else in the 90s used. So, I guess it makes, it makes some sense. Uh-oh. Oh. Okay. This is fine. Sure, 50 50, let's do it. Oh, oh, oh shit. Real Dude, come on. I'm I'm hitting cancel. <sighs> Great. There goes my whole fucking turn just Come on. Okay, well, at least I can keep hitting him. Ugh. Ah, okay, so we can keep him from moving at least, if, it, if that lands. 20 with the knockdown. Okay. It's important uh, to take out this guy.
Hmm, I think I... Nice if it, it said wet. Like, so I'm using... I'm using an FP recovery thing here, but it doesn't show my target's FP. Yeah. It's a, oh, it's an AoE! Okay. Well, at least I learned that from that. But I learned something from that. Horrible mistake. Interesting. She's not moving. I move him here, 45. Yeah. All right. Very nice of the rest of the enemies to just kind of stand there and watch. chance to hit. We'll, we'll roll the dice here. 52%. Oops. Thirty-eight percent. Gonna keep rolling that dice. Two percent. All right, so forty-four percent chance to hit, and I have a fifty percent chance to counter. I don't know. I might be way too aggressive. Here. Okay, well, forty-four percent chance to hit, and I'm guaranteed to hit. Okay. Okay. All right. I'll take that. Uh I really need Bastion to to go after Claire. I'll just move Bastion here. Alright. There's another sound effect I recognize from, like, half the PlayStation library. Oh, 
100%. Okay, we can... We can have Barlow heal himself, or... Ah, it's just... Heal himself. Or have somebody else heal him. How do these guys have so much uh, AP left? They're moving like six squares and still have enough AP to attack once they get there. Okay. Uh, that's going to leave him with a decent amount of AP. Okay. All right, guaranteed kill. Oh, thirty nine percent, thirty nine percent chance to hit. What? That was 99% chance to hit! Are you kidding me? Okay, so that's only range one. See how much this heals for. Her. Mm, that's not bad. That is acceptable. And six and six. Devlin, Eel, Horseman. Huh? Okay. Well, ideally, I want the boss attacking Alden, because Alden has crazy high defense and uh, defense and avoid. So as long as she doesn't go after Andrew, okay. And I guess I can move up. Uh, I'm gonna have to. All right, Robo Pope. Gonna have to do this. Uh, 
All right, so he's got a heal horseman. God, that sound. That is so awful. All right, 61%. I haven't dodged an attack in like, since the last battle, it seems. If I could quicksand the boss. Actually, I can take out this guy with this. Oh, man. That's, that's annoying. All right, so that, that's not worth it to go after the, the stunned guy. Ooh, this, all right, 45% chance to kill. All right, I... Okay, I gotta try it. 45% chance. So naturally, this is going to hit, because nobody's dodging anything in this in this fight. So naturally, this is gonna hit and kill. Alright. We're back in it. Barlow getting some value. Throwing in a heal. Getting a kill. Look at this baller. Okay. Alright, now she can hopefully get this kill. And can I do it with something? Alright, so that uses less FP. And ideally, I want to move her so that she's not getting back attack. We'll do that. All right, go after Alvin. Oh, come on! Shit. So it's a 27% chance to hit, but the way things have been going, I can't risk that. So I'm just gonna have to go for the defend. And it's probably gonna miss. Nope! Of course. Of course. Can't have nice things. Man, Barlow hits like a truck. No, let's do it. Let's do it. I can heal him. Who'd have thought my second strongest character would be Barlow? <laughs> and he's he's almost as versatile as uh, as Robo Pope. Allow me to demonstrate. Yeah. Man, assuming this hits, Andrew could probably... Okay, not quite kill. 
I wonder if you can get behind her. Of course. Uh... That's interesting that he can move through enemy units. Like, you're, you're not supposed to be able to do that. Okay, we'll go for with this guaranteed kill. I wonder if that's some uh, some passive ability that he gained at the uh, at a level up. Of course, he got 69 XP. Okay. Wait, I can attack again? <laughs> that, all right. Sure, this seems fair. Okay. Like sucks. Incredible dialogue from working science. Okay, we'll uh just get and Barlow. So you can heal each other over here. Or not. Alright. And Andrew too. Sure. Now Bastion can actually do something. If I didn't have the healing, that probably would have been much rougher. So I'm glad I I finally found a healing uh, spell. Alright. Some anime cutscene. Uh, just going right into it for this one, I guess. Okay. 
don't think I need to change any equipment. I think that, that all worked out just fine last time. Oh no, are they- are they cloaked? Uh-oh. Alright, Andrew. A wildly inappropriate thing. That was okay. That finally something appropriate. All right, we'll talk to these two. Okay. All right. Let's do it. I really hope there aren't invisible enemies. Those are always annoying. Why is Claire here again? What? We like killed her last time. Also, only six, six enemies? The Crimson must be really strong, man. Uh, and in that case, let's, uh, Spend a turn buffing. So get ready to, to listen to that. <laughs> yep, this this very peppy music for the for this dire ambush. Ready to rumble now. Oh, 
So ideally, I want them attacking Alden. Because he's got really high defense. And it looks like uh, Crimson is um, got really slow uh, turn order. Logan. Seven. So if I counter, 99% chance to counter. Yeah, let's do it. I can heal him next turn if this sets him. Yep. <laughs> okay. Whose turn is it? Oh, it's Bastard. Height defense. Hmm. So I can just, I can just keep attacking with this guy. Yeah, I can. Okay. Oh, okay. You can only get. Got it. Oh, so that's not gonna kill. Man, she's just... Her attacks are so weak. Ugh. Really wish he hit a little bit harder. Okay. Get my wish granted here. Yeah, she is... She is a native... Innate weapon skill of four. That's... That's probably... Has something to do with things. Okay, so we got... One guy in... Stun mode. And geez, if I can if I can hit the boss at quicksand, then we could just cheese him out. Go for the guaranteed to kill here.
All right, Alden, what you got? I think that's... Sometimes it's hard to tell which square you're moving on to. That's still not a kill. That... That seems pretty good, though. Okay. Dang. <laughs> okay. That's a multi... Yeesh. Okay, I have to defend. Oh, man. Wait, what? What? That was a 99... Okay. <laughs> All right. All right, 99% chance. Uh, yeah, like, uh, I I don't understand half the things that, that are happening sometimes, but I'll take it. Yes. 99%. Okay, so this will be a knockdown. This is probably going to be my best outcome for this. Oh, well, she knocked me down first. Okay, great. That was the worst possible outcome. <laughs> Fucking hell. The actual worst outcome. All right, we have to take out Claire. Claire quickly, then. can probably get her with a, uh, a pistol. Yeah. A turbulence. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Really like that horseman could, could just get in the double hits. Okay. All right, sure, fine. Horse man did his job. Now the real question is, is the boss... the boss mech capable of going 1v7? I really hope not.
All right. Wait, does nobody even need healing? Okay, well. I guess we'll attack them. And if I can keep them from moving. So as long as I'm too... Hmm. Well, it's... it's Oh, man. So from full health to almost dead. Just in one turn. Okay, so this one he won't counterattack. So it looks like... If I can... If I can get the boss's FP to 100, which it looks like I can with Earthquake, I might be able to cheese him out like this. So yeah, we, we cast Earthquake. All he does is defend against Earthquake. And that's plus 30 to FP for each defend. And we're damaging him. Eh? Better than that? Not really. Alright, strong slash it is. Finally, Robopope gets a turn. Oh, that's going up a slope. Dang it. All right, Leader Cloud, have a good one. Uh, I can hit him from here with uh, this, right? I can. Okay, and he's just defending. So we're, we're getting him up to 90 FP. So he's gonna be stunned in the next turn, regardless of what happens. Shitting me. <laughs> Alright, I, I had a plan and everything. And then he just pieces out. Okay. Alright, fine. But we'll try again. <laughs> Surely he can't miss twice. Barlow has to finish the job. Easy. 
Dang, he's got really low power, too. Let's fix that. Okay. <laughs> There's just throwing the story out the window at this point. Here's a, here's a battle after battle. Strength to their last encounter. All right. And it looks like he's on top of that that hill there. So if I stay put at the bottom of it, I can probably get him to come at me one at a time. All right, Andrew. What inappropriate thing is it this time? His dialogue has just been getting more and more anime the further we go in. Alright, Barlow. Cool. Okay. Let's, uh... See how this goes. Why is she back again? I... Okay, so I'm gonna keep my, my whole party down here. And have them come to me. Because I really don't want to aggro big boy. Yeah, okay, so as I figured, if I don't go anywhere, they're not going anywhere. Okay. Oh. Well. Okay. Alright, how about that far? Okay. Good. Okay. Can he hit back? Sure. Chances are that's gonna miss anyways. As game was rushed, yeah, maybe. There's um well uh, it, it should be noted that this game has three different uh, full campaigns, and this is only one of the campaigns. And apparently, the um, the the first or the the second campaign besides this one, the one that you don't get by default, is apparently much much better written um, and much more fleshed out. 
So you can't really judge a lot of the, the design and writing based off of just this one. But then again, you totally can judge it because this is the one that everybody who who sits through to the credits is going to see by default. Because you have to do a really weird arcane stuff to get to the, the second scenario at the beginning of the game. And I'm not even sure you can see the second scenario uh, by default. Yeah, yeah, you're right. You can't, uh, you can't half-ass the, the route that everybody's gonna see. That is true. But then again, it's kind of disingenuous to advertise the game as having 50 or 60 missions or something, when anybody on their first playthrough is only gonna see 20. <laughs> and then have the other, the other missions hidden behind a weird, uh, set of things you gotta do. All right, 26% chance to hit. So naturally, it's not gonna hit. All right, so I'm only gonna counterattack with range, range things at the moment. I don't want that that extra line of uh, enemies to to do anything. Forty nine. Eh, it's just uh... okay. Okay. Wait, Alden is... Oh... Shit. Okay, well it looks like nobody else can hit him. Unless he's a ranged attack. <laughs> That's not great that he's at max FP. He's also the only unit that can heal uh, FP. <laughs> which is unfortunate. units aggroed as well. Wait, did Big Boy aggro? Big Boy did not aggro. Okay. Player. Oh, that's Sheon. So we got the... We got everybody but Big Boy is, is aggroed, it looks like. Okay. I guess I can... I can move up units now instead then. Alden. The 95 FP, even as is right now. Dang it. Okay, I might as well just go for the kill then. Assuming he doesn't miss. Okay. First man did not let me down this time. All right, as long as Big Boy doesn't enter the fight, then then we're still in good shape. Eh. I 
And actually, if I can... If I can hit clear with the Earthquake skill to keep her out of the fight for a while, that would be nice. It's even more important that I keep my healers, or the, the people with earth stones, uh, alive, because I need them to cheese out the, cheese out big boy. being really conservative with my moves here, but that's on purpose, because I really don't want to get caught out. Uh, and I should be a horse man. Let's do this. Let's do this. Eighty percent chance to hit. Of course. All right, I'm gonna have to. Oh, he's going for horseman. Okay. Oh shit, I keep... I really need to check the... Great, and he's at full FP too. Fantastic. Alright, well luckily... This guy's got a FP recovery thing. That I can't use. Okay. Plan B. We're going to... Uh... Do this, and nearly killed this guy. Uh-oh. Alright, big boy. Big boy's angry. Oh, great. Oh, great. Oh, great. Oh, great. Oh, great. <laughs> Uh oh. Uh. Um. Uh, uh, um, 
So, so who's friend and who's foe here? Okay, so, uh... So who can I... Okay, so that's a target. That's, that's a target. Oh, fuck. <laughs> uh... This is... This, this is fucked. Um... Yeah, he's... It... Oh, God. This is... Okay, well, I'm, I'm no longer safe there. Oh, fucking hell. So can I... Alright, no more messing around here now, I guess. Holy shit, yeah, everybody is my enemy right now. Unless unless something happens in like the next turn where there's ne another cutscene of, of more reinforcements or something. Oh man. Oh good, and the general's showing up too. Oh, they're they're fighting each other, okay. Alright. Nice kill steal. So I guess I'll I'll keep fighting uh Who are you attacking? Alright, who are you attacking? Are you attack Okay? Alright, I'll I'll let them attack each other. I'm okay with this. Alright, horse man can't do anything here. I think I'm avoiding this one. So that was an Imperial. So the Imperials are attacking everybody, it looks like. The Imperials are attacking both me and, and the Duke. And the Duke is attacking me, but not the Imperials. So this is... this is so fucked. Oh, man. Alright, 34% chance to hit. Come on. Come on. Okay. Alright, Bastion. You better get some... some one-shots going here. Uh, shit. All right, we're gonna have the lightning strike. I wonder if the Imperials showed up after a certain amount of turns, or if it was the amount of kills. Because I don't think I got any kills when they showed up. So it looks like you want to be really aggressive at the start of this fight, and clear out as many of the... of the Duke... Duke's forces. So I, I might have screwed up by being so, uh... non-aggressive at the start. Yeah. 
I really need to keep Horseman alive, but Devlin is just gonna get blown up here if I keep him there. Um, I gotta do this. Alright, Barlow. Uh... So nobody really needs fields that are around. We can have Barlow actually start giving him the business. Eh, 71% chance. I'll risk it. Clearly, he needs more decks because he's uh, having trouble hitting there. Yeah. Of course. Of course, she can't kill. Oh, shit. Clearly, we gotta get Andrew out of air. So he's just getting messed up. might actually come down to the wire here. do this, but that seems like my only option here. It's an AoE, but you still have to target somebody with it. That's so weird. Okay. Alright. Good. I'm okay with this this outcome. So they are intentionally fighting each other. I was I was a little worried that the Duke's forces were gonna only go after me. Okay. This is this is great. Yep, one shot him. Fight each other. Perfect.
That's a decent amount of damage on him. Assuming it's hits. Okay. Any damage they could do to that guy, I'll take. Alright, finally, Bastion gets a turn now. Alright, what do we got? Shion. Go for a guaranteed kill here. Okay, so I'll have this guy turn around. Start attacking. Guys, oh, I could have attacked shit. Okay, well, this is fine. Takes care of her, this hits, and it did. Okay. So she had some really high damage output attacks, so. Kinda glad that, uh. The Imperials removed her from the equation. Barlow's just getting bullied here. Ah, uh, that's gonna put him at 100 FP. Yeah, gonna have to do this. Can't even get the Barlow to heal him. So we're gonna move over here to Horseman and heal him. Actually, here and face this way. And of course, I don't have enough MP to heal him. All right, we'll heal Horseman from there. Yeah, I guess ultimately it was, it was, it worked out okay that I left uh, some other enemies alive, but, but the battle's not over yet. There's, there's still plenty of time for this to go completely sideways. missed Barlow so he can get back in the fight quicker. And this will also give FP back to like three others. And of course the others didn't even need it, but that's fine. And might as well get an attack here. For as little as it does. We 
nice if I could turn around in the space that I'm in. I understand why they don't let you do that, but it would be nice if they let you. Alright, 75% chance to hit. Bastion start taking out these Imperials. damage here. Man, it's always like four da- four HP left. Every time. Turbulence them? Of course not. Alright, 77% chance to hit. Come on. Okay. This guy doesn't hit very hard, yeah, so... I should just move him over here so he starts, uh... ...getting hit by... ...everything else. That appears to be the only thing this guy's good for, is... ...is soaking up damage and doing that crazy... Mor ...ice mirage slash or whatever it is. That he can only use if he's already right next to an opponent at the start of his turn. Uh, I need him to heal, so I'll, I'll just defend. I shouldn't risk it with this guy. Or Barlow. I need them to heal. Yo, these guys are gonna just straight up kill the boss for me. I'm okay with this. Okay, who needs healing? Arlo does. And I probably don't have enough. I do, okay. All right. Arlo and Devlin can heal each other. Perfect. Anyway, this is uh...
Uh, I... From the looks of things, it looks like the boss is going to defeat the guys that are around him. But he's probably going to be at super low HP when he does make it down to where we are. Earthquake's a knockdown attack, so I'm just going to defend. Not going to keep making this mistake. Alright. Arena is finally going to kill something. And of course, it's against somebody who can't dodge or hit back. Good job, Reina, you did something. I gave you this sweet new mech, and you're still pretty useless. Oh, we'll rip that guy. Rip that guy. <laughs> damage. Okay, so... What can Andrew even do here? Like, there's this, there's this little hill right here, and that's, um, that's really causing FP costs to just skyrocket to do anything. Bastion. And as I say that, sure, I'll take out two at once here. Looks like I have to use a uh, strong attack, though. Seventy-five percent. So that's ninety-nine percent versus seventy-five. So I think I'll go for the guaranteed damage against this guy. Void here, sure. Sure, it's not guaranteed, but it might as well be. It's guaranteed with an asterisk. It might as well be. Only when I really need it to hit is when it's not guaranteed. Okay, so we really need to get Bastion's FP down. That, that also worked for uh, Devlin. Okay, that worked out nicely. Uh... 
Man, I might as well just go for tackles. It's like this guy barely hits for anything anyways. Alright. Even if I, I hit with one of the other attacks, I wouldn't have hit for much, so whatever. So it's 50-50, and it's not going to be a knockdown. Okay, let's do it. This will go well. Yep. 2 HP. And he's gonna hit the boss. Yep. Oh, shit! Okay. Alright, this guy's gonna be a hero. Take out the- take out the boss for me. HP, of course. No great options here for this one. That's Earthquake. Alright, just gonna defend that. That's gonna knock down regardless. Unless I defend. Bastion. Actually, I don't need to do, even move him. I'll just do this from here. Okay. Sure. All right, as long as it hits. Okay, sure. I'll take it. And then the other Imperial up by the boss is gonna keep the boss busy for another turn or two. Uh, and then Alden can actually use this thing for once, because I didn't move, uh... Dude, that's only gonna hit for... Okay. Man, this guy has really high defense, apparently. Jeez.
All right, 70% chance to hit. So... Okay. All right. Hey, she did something. Clearly she needs more decks. She needs more of everything, but... Clearly decks. Seventy percent. The hell is this? All right, seventy percent. Okay. All right, so we only got the the two at the top of the map left. Okay. So it's a 7v2, but it's it's going to be a 7v1 shortly. Hopefully I can win this, and uh, this also is assuming that there's going to be no more, uh... No more units. Surprise units that spawn in. Yep, that would be great. Like, hey, it took too long. Now a bunch more reinforcements showed up. Have fun. All right. Let's, uh... Let's advance. All right, go get him, Imperial. He got this. Oh, man. Is it... <laughs> Okay, now I, I'm just hoping that the boss one-shots that guy. Alright, oh, that's not gonna be a one-shot! Oh, man. Alright, we gotta get up here and... So I can't hit him from there. I also don't want to get sniped here. Yeah, we'll just we'll just move from there. Can I okay, can Andrew snipe him here with the uh Oh man I'm not... Okay. Alright. So this this guy's gonna be a 99 FP after this. Oh, shit. Um... 
Uh, so we have a 61% chance to counter. All right, what if I, what if I attacked from there? Okay, so this... 3% chance to miss, and a 2% chance to miss my counter attack. And this will guarantee that Bastion gets the XP for the kill, and not the, the random ass Imperial. I think I want to do this. Let's do this. All right. Oh, unless this is a knockdown. Oh, <laughs> yes! <laughs> 2%, 2% chance for that to miss, and it missed. All right. I'll take it. Whew. Uh, okay, I'm glad I... I'm glad I got that XP then. <laughs> Holy shit. Okay. Now I just need to not get wiped by this guy who's able to go toe to toe with the. Uh, with that boss there. Alright, Reyna, here's your time to shine. Okay. He died to my worst party member, too, for the even better. Uh, is he going to join our party? One v one. What can go wrong? Great, just great. Another mission. Okay. 
All right. So apparently there's 20, 20 missions, and we just finished 17. So we got 18, 19, and 20 left to do here in this thrill a minute video game that is Vanguard Pandits. Oh, this nightmare is almost over. All right, I'm gonna cut the timer here. Good old Vanguard Bandits. All right, so that'll uh, that'll do it for tonight. So we played through some Hotel Dusk. We made it to uh, chapter chapter six ish of Vanguard Bandits and. We made it to the, the final-ish stretch of uh, Vanguard Bandits. Um, so yeah, that'll that'll do it for that. Uh, I, I've been thinking well while I was playing through that, as I had a lot of time to think, because man, that game's boring. Um, I th think when we're done with Hotel Dusk, uh, before I move on to Saturn and La Milana, um, I want to play through the Half-Life games. So that, that should only take, like, two to three sittings tops. And I might just set out, like, a, a whole stream of just Half-Life 1, start to finish, uh, the two expansion packs, Half-Life 2, and then we'll be good for, um, well, it's probably going to be Half-Life 2 and then Half-Life 2 episode 1 and 2? I, I forget what what the, the expansion packs were for Half-Life 2. Um, because I want to get those done before Half-Life Alex comes out. Uh, so that's, uh, that's gonna slightly disrupt the, the upcoming general stuff, but whatever. We'll get to them eventually. Uh, so yeah, I'm, I'm not sure when we'll do those, so it, it's probably still going to be, uh, these two, or at least the next stream. We're likely gonna be finished with Vanguard Bandits. Um, so say if, if I, if I just did tomorrow's stream, like, we start with Vanguard Bandits and then just go to the end, um, and then maybe the stream after that, we'll just do Hotel Dusk, go to the end, because we could probably do that like that, and then, and then move on from there, that might end up be what we do. Um, because now that I got everything around here, and, like, all my gear is all set up to pretty much how I want it to, um, so as long as I'm feeling up to streaming, I shouldn't have any more technical things between me and streaming uh, for the foreseeable future. So, so that'll be the plan. I'll keep you all posted, as always, on Discord and on Twitter and such. And also, as always, I'd like to thank you for tuning in tonight. I hope you all have a great day, night, morning, or evening, wherever you are. And I'll see you next time. Take care. Have a good one. Bye.